this is Teresa again from Daily Tea Sips. So, if you guys don't watch Love and Hip Hop, you might not be interested in this. So, this week's episode of Love and Hip Hop, Yandy Smith dropped a huge bomb. So, her husband slash boyfriend, Mendici Harris, is currently in jail serving an eight-year prison sentence on a drug-related charge. Now, he's scheduled to be released in 2021. That's not the story. They told that last year. In 2015, actually May of last year, Yandy and uh, Mendeecees actually got married in a ceremony on the show. And that show is aired on VH1. Yandy revealed that on the show just this past Monday, she just revealed that one of the signatures was actually left off the marriage license. So that actually means that they are not legally married in the eyes of the law. Then she went on to explain the reason why she did she did this. The reason why was because one, Mandisi uh, actually uh, may owe restitution to the government. Now, once they are legally married, her money is now his money, and they can actually come after her to pay whatever money he owes. Now, she also mentioned that while he was incarcerated, she didn't want his baby mamas to try to sue her for child support. Now, I would say that I actually agree with her decision. His legal issues actually happened before they met. So to have the government come in or some thirst buckets to come in and try to take your, your hard-earned money is not happening. Now, on the show, she called Mendeecees and informed him that she did, uh, she did not mail off the license or she left a, a signature off the, the uh, marriage license. Now, he seemed to be upset, but I think there was more to that. That was more so for the cameras and the show to stir up drama, I actually think that he was actually aware of what she did. Now, Yandy says that she has not seen his other children because of the issues she's having with the baby mothers. And that part is just so completely messy. And this was one of the main reasons why I said I didn't want to marry anyone who had baby mamas or had children with other people. I have no interest in uh, dealing with baby mama drama. Now, I am Team Yandy on this decision. Now, Mona Scott Young, who's the executive producer of Love & Hip Hop, is said to be upset over this because VH1 actually shelled out over $500,000 last year for that lavish ceremony. So go ahead and comment below. Do you support her decision not to sign the license based on her reasoning, or do you think she should have signed it and made the marriage official? Go ahead and comment below. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. And if you don't watch uh, Love & Hip Hop, you need to tune in because it is drama, drama, drama. See you in the next video. Bye.